Jeff, meanwhile, plans to build the tallest skyscraper on Florida's west coast are in limbo. One building in downtown Tampa is standing in the way of the project. News Channel 8's Justin Checker is live in our Tampa News Center to explain why. Justin? Stacy, this proposed skyscraper would certainly transform Tampa's skyline, but now this $400 million redevelopment project is on hold because of the existing building's historic value. In downtown Tampa. Oh, there's plenty of room down here. Carla Gorman says she'd rather see renovations to the former Tar Furniture Company building instead of a developer's plans to tear it down. They could put great condos in this building. They're beautiful. The big windows. At Tuesday's Historic Preservation Commission meeting. When you have these cracks, you have weak points. The developers argued the more than a century old structure is beyond repair. There's very little value in the property to the city or to to anyone really at this point. Quite honestly, from Curtis Hicks and Park, the west elevation of the building is an eyesore. While it's not designated right now, city officials say this building meets the criteria to be preserved as a historical landmark. Irreparable harm will be done to the building. Um, if a demolition for the building is issued. The commission voted in favor of city council taking emergency action to halt the demolition permit at 520 North Tampa Street. You have a great day. It's a welcome development for the staff at First Watch Restaurant. I feel like we have so many condos already. Like, make it somewhere else. Don't tear down this is historical building at my job. And this project wouldn't address the city's housing affordability crisis. The developer says the condos would be sold for an average of $1.3 million. A city spokesperson says, quote, historic preservation is very important to Mayor Castor, but there is a process here that should run its course. Stacy. All right, Justin Checker live in our Tampa News Center tonight. Thank you.